Still. What are you doing? Stretching or what? I have no idea. <laughs> I think he's having convulsions. <laughs> um, when you were mining today, mm -hmm. you found adamantine, four of them. I did? Yes. <laughs> Look at what I mine. I just mine it. If you can find um, two more of those ores, I can make you a manurlin plus hammer head. Will it still have the light speed? Um, let me look here. If you go on the ore here, they make this stuff with that if you find some more of that yellow stuff that you can't get, mm -hmm. we can make this. Mm -hmm. And that is Manurlin Plus Handle Modifier of 3.33 Base Durability of 1600 Mining Speed of 15. That should make one out of a hammer. Now, if you do just the adamantine, uh, da, 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 da. it is 2.3, 12.40, mining speed of 10. And you get reinforced two with it. Except for the fact that this thing I only found one of. Right. The big area I mined out, so it's apparently pretty rare to find. Right. I can actually use it to do my pick if I wanted, or I could do you a pick of it, but we don't have anywhere near enough to do your hammer yet, and you don't even have a, ha a regular pick. Yeah, I do. Where is it? Right. Yo. Ah. Oh, you still got the candy cane pick. Yeah, because I mainly use this. Okay. This is just for picking out little bits of stuff. That's just for picking your nose? <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, let's go do a quick sleep. Do a sleep job? Yeah. Do a quick sleep job. What? What? I'm up. I'm going to punch the torch. <laughs> I ain't nothing new. <laughs> You're always trying to break something. We're trying to get iron done. And lots and lots and lots of it. Because we have something to build. And I made this nice little checklist here. This is a clipboard. And this is the stuff that we need to make it. I think we got enough. Um, let me pop it off the wall here. We need 12 steel blocks for the base. And nine steel blocks for the wheel. Okay. We need nine inter nine light engineering blocks, thirteen heavy engineering blocks, three scaffolding, and twenty scaffolding, respectively, for the excavator. Now I have the twelve blocks, the three scaffolding, in here, and I have two scaffolding. Where do the rest of my blocks go? You picked them up and put them with the 12. I have these separated. I didn't do it. I'm serious. All I did was pick up the block of steel. 12 blocks of steel. That's all I did. Well, shut the block. Shut the daggone door so I can see the thing. So we need three more blocks of steel, and we will have all of our blocks done. Okay. Then we just we need... Four blocks of iron back here. All right, well, get them in and get them made to steel. The whole block or the ingots? The whole block. Because then we need 20 scaffoldings to go with that. And we have, I might actually be able to do the scaffoldings. Let me look here. Um, scaffolding is like so. There's 18. That should be what I need right there. 
So we've got the scaffolding done. We've got three and twenty, and we need three and twenty. So give me this. This is done. This is done. This is done, and almost all of that is done. So all we need to really work on now is the engineering blocks and the um, two blocks of steel we need. So hopefully in the next episode, we will be able to build this excavator. You got three more blocks of iron. Alright, um... Put them in too. Or? Well, we have to make the light engineering blocks. And why did I get a plus on there? Dead gun it. And any eye won't let you take out just one thing. Alright, engineering block. We need... How many does it say on there? I don't know. Uh -huh. Yeah, light engineering. Nine. We have one in there, so we need eight. So we need this recipe four times. So we need 16 plus um, 32. So we need 48 iron that is not steel. Okay. And we have 26 iron that is not steel. So we need 12 more iron, and then the rest needs to be steel for the heavy engineering. 12 non-steel iron. Mm-hmm. Where'd you go? I'm outside. Just put it in the... Uh, Iron the ingot box there by the thing. And then you want the rest to be made into steel. Yes. Then there. And I can't put the rest of the ingots in, so I just stick them in here for now. And get that later. And I've been doing some core sampling. I decided that because I know little about how the actual data is stored. Um, I decided that I would do it all by myself because I was afraid that him helping me and placing it sometimes was changing the way it worked. Because we had done in the last video most of this area right here and found nothing. Well, when I did it by myself, I went in a straight line here, all the way to that mountain, checking every chunk, and also did a little bit over there before that, and I found one thing of coal, finally, right here. I'm almost wondering if it has something to do with closeness to your bed. Because if you look, this is coal, which I found here. And then after I did that, I went across here. And then back along this straight line right here, because I'd already done this line pretty much and I did all the way down to the river this way and found nothing and that is way more than one out of nine or one out of six that I did getting all the way back down here to the river so then I started going this way, and when I got over here, I think I did a straight line over at the mountain right there, 
and came this way. And when I did, I then found Galena here, which is lead. And then very shortly after, I found iron right here, which was only a few blocks away. And if you look at it, both these and that other one are not within our home region. Now, this isn't where we spawned. We didn't spawn here and settle, right? Mm, we actually right. walked here, so this isn't the spawn area. But it's where we're domesticating. So I'm wondering if that has something to do with it or if we just have weird random luck. <laughs> but I can confirm it does work in this version of IE. It does work uh, in a LAN world. At least the single player that started the world can do it which is me, I'm going to have uh, you go out and do some over on that by the river over there and see if you can actually find anything so we can see if you can find anything in this world. Okay. But the coal we don't need. You have so much coal that you've mined, we probably won't ever need to hit that coal vein. Um, the Galena we may eventually want to hit. I'm not real sure what all comes out of the Galena vein. Uh, my guess would be iron or uh, silver and lead because that's what's in a Galena vein. Um, but I don't know if there's anything else. I know with the copper vein that I found on the server... It had copper, nickel, and gold. So there should be, in my mind, one other thing that comes out of the Galena, but I don't know if it does and if it does what it is. As you can tell, I'm starting my sheep farm. Yeah, I see this. We've got a rainbow of sheep over here. You going to make a rainbow sheep too? <laughs> hmm. If I could, I would. Have you, him as a centerpiece. You can make a rainbow sheep. Hmm? You can make a rainbow sheep. What do you mean? You just need a name tag. Oh, that rainbow sheep. Yeah. And a Jeb thing. Yeah, you just gotta name one Jeb and it'll be a rainbow sheep. Still says B will slap you with a dinner bone name tag. Yeah, you're not turning me upside down. <laughs> That'd be funny. No, that would drive me crazy. Um, all right, so that's our excavator talk. We will hopefully get that built in the next one, or actually the one after, because we have talked about our excavator and looked around at what's been going on for an entire episode. So, we will talk to you guys next time, and we will be starting our bee stuff. He's going to take this scoop and go get stung over and over and over and over. Mm. We already have some bees, right? A few. Yeah, we got a few we can get started with. I'm going to make a box just for that one. Well, we need to make the actual um, bee box. This bee box? Yeah, the uh, we'll show it in the next one. Hmm. See you guys next time. Later.